why keyword harvesting is so important and how it works, we can jump into how to map your keyword harvesting structure into Celex Automation. Your first step will be clicking on Keyword Rules. Here, you're going to see, starting off, two buckets. One with a gold wand, where you're going to connect your auto campaign to a manual ad group. And a bucket with a green man, where you're, you're going to connect any kind of manual ad groups together. Now, if we take the example of the campaign structure we have seen in the keyword harvesting video, you, will, you would connect your auto campaign to the manual broad ad group and your manual product targeting campaign from the gold wand bucket, and you would connect your manual broad campaign to your manual exact campaign from the bucket with the green man. Let's now jump into these rules to understand how, they, how it all works. The first rule says, if orders are above or equal one, immediately move the search term from the auto campaign to the manual broad campaign. For example, the search term basketball. As soon as it converts, we immediately move it from auto to manual broad to test it further. In the meantime, if orders are equal zero, after at least 25 clicks, let's say, move the search term to negative. In this case, it would be basketball net that gets no orders after a bunch of clicks. And so we need to set it to negative to avoid building up of ad waste. The threshold 25 clicks is arbitrary. You can always pick a different number. You can use the Celix 1x system, or you can change variable. Instead of using clicks, you can use spend, you can use days, you can use impressions. Remember, you can always add and write your own rules directly from here and delete existing rules from here. Let's look at the second step. Now, if orders are equal or above one, after at least one X clicks, move the search term from the manual broad ad group to your manual exact ad group. In this case, basketball NBA, it converts in the click threshold. So let's promote it with our best performing search terms. However, in the case of basketball WNBA, since it's the wrong size, your orders are going to equal zero after at least 1.5x clicks. So we're going to move the search term to negative to avoid ad waste. Now that you understand these two rules, let's look at how to map it out. Remember, we're going to connect your auto campaign to your manual broad and your manual product targeting from the first bucket by clicking on the orange tab. First, you're going to select your source campaign. In this case, the first step is the auto campaign, right? You're going to click on auto, continue. Then you're going to have to connect the auto campaign to two different ad groups, right? Your manual broad and your manual product targeting. For keyword targeting, so manual broad, you're going to pick it from the left. And for your product targeting, you're going to pick it on the right. you're going to see the distinctive K's and P's of Celix that one stands for keyword targeting and one for product targeting. Then you're going to click on next rule. Just confirm that anything that doesn't work, you're going to send to negative exact and click save. The button is going to turn green and you know that that connection is successful. Last step, we'll be doing this the same process for the second step of the connection. In this case, we're connecting your manual broad to your manual exact. So let's pick your broad, click continue, and find the manual exact campaign. Next rule, you confirm that anything that does not work, you want to send to negative and click save. Now you have successfully mapped out your keyword harvesting structure. Keep in mind that this system is flexible. If you have differ a different campaign structure, you can always make it happen by connecting different ad groups. Of course, a good and solid and consistent naming convention will help you out connecting the right ad group to its next, the right next step. If you have any questions about your keyword harvesting structure or how to map out more complex keyword harvesting structures, please reach out to our customer success team or our support team.